So if we start the daily time frame, okay, for the indices, we are at a current range, okay, from 36.39 up to 39.50, almost 51, okay. So if you notice, uh, June 30th and July 5th left us some lows here. Okay. So if you look at yesterday's candle on the 14th, we traded down and into that here. Okay. Look at that reaction away. Okay. How we came down there and then came all the way back up and closed, even though it was technic technically a bearish day, right? That was still, you know, it looks like a run on liquidity. So today we may anticipate a bullish day potentially, okay, because it is Friday, right? Today's the 15th, okay? So you do have 11, 12, 13, and 14, Monday through Thursday being a down day. We've done a stream in the past on that. What you know, when to expect um, professional accumulation or distribution, and that's usually after a sell-off, right? You can expect uh, professional accumulation and uh, vice versa. Okay, so Friday, not surprising that this happens to be an up day. Now, the daily by itself is cool, but again, you're not really going to get an entry. You know based on a daily alone whereas we can go down into the smaller time frames and work our way into that okay so what did i want to or what i wanted you guys uh it was to look at london's low and the pre-market lows for the indices okay so whether you're throwing on the sessions indicator or whatever the case uh, doesn't really matter or if you just want to look here's two o'clock so that's london for me and then we have a pre-market low at 7 30 right so we can see the s p is moving higher right so we can see that whether you're looking at the bodies or whether you're looking at the wicks higher s p we take a look at the nasdaq okay the nasdaq makes a lower low. Okay. Now a lower low based on the wick. Okay. Not necessarily the bodies, but the wick. Okay. Trades lower and then rallies up again, pre-market. So if the NASDAQ sweeps a low, we, we know that it's a sweep because it wicked into that. Okay. And the S P was not trading below this low, all right? That's an indication that the NASDAQ has manipulated stops. The S&P is being accumulated, all right? So then here's 745, we rally up again, 8 o'clock, 815, and then 830, here's our stock exchange open. So we do initial re um, rally. And then we slam down, but what did we slam down into? All we really traded into was this imbalance. Okay. And then away from that. Now price does start to consolidate in here. Um, this is only a 15 minute. You know, we really haven't looked at the super small time frame because that to me is where the opportunity uh, was at. All right. So when we get to this point, all right, so I messaged you guys around 12.02. I mean, 2.02, sorry. And I just want to quickly find that before we go um, any further. So give me just a second here. Um, well, I don't want to show all of my, uh, conversations per se. Okay. Oh, but here's our chat. 
Okay. So we have right here, no trade at 203, but watching the S&P or watching to see if S&P runs up to 38.65. That was at 204. Okay. 204. So 204. There's two o'clock. Okay. Here in that last uh, one hour of trading. Okay. That last 60 minutes. As a matter of fact, what we can do, I think it's a little bit easier if we just highlight uh, that, that area. Okay. Now, of course, right, we're trading within this range, but I want you to notice, right, the S&P low here at 1140. Okay. We essentially created equal highs, right? That was the reasoning for 38.65. It was just like one and one point, maybe a point and some change, nearest five level, right above the equal highs. Okay. All right. Now, when the market was stuck in this range, right? You can use the fib logic the same way we did on the daily. Okay, we have that low, fractal low, beautiful fractal low down in here. We rally up close to that liquidity. So that's your indication that price wants to trade up here. It just hasn't done that yet. Trades lower. And this is where actually I was entering in the market was here. When we rallied up, I thought the initial run was going to be here. It did not. Ended up trading lower, and I ended up getting stopped out at a break even, plus one point. So, really just a cover commissions type of trade. Okay. But yet, I wanted to see still if we would run 238.65. Uh, All right. Now, my original stop from this area was um 48 38 48 okay 38 so if i had kept my trades open i took two different long positions okay if i had kept them open 38 48 is here all right so that stop loss would have uh, not been triggered now, it would have gotten close, came down to a low of 38.50 and a quarter. So, it would have got close. But yet, near the end, we still rally up and we smack right into 38.65. Okay, right there at the close. All right, so if you look at a one minute chart or a five, even a five minute chart, okay, same thing, kind of like what we did on a daily. They run it up, price comes down rallies up and then here's our profit taking hour but there's really no you know you don't you're not going to really see a sell-off or i wasn't at least expecting a sell-off because of the equal highs and it could have sold off but it didn't i was still maintaining the target of here so it did come down and, and we wick in here a couple of times right what is it wicking into these short-term lows here now, I wasn't expecting that, okay? And once I was break even, I was done for today anyway because I, I really don't um, care for trading Fridays anyway, all right? But the logic, uh, right, the FIB logic of the liquidity being here, right, again, from this low up to this high, this high is the same, okay? These are the same highs. They have equal highs on the left side right here. You have another set of equal highs here. All right, so that message was sent at, uh, what was it, 04? Okay, so that was here. Price was about right there. All right, so we do see it drop down into that liquidity. It trades up. It actually trades down one more time, taking this low. 
and then the last few minutes because this only ended up being the last 10 minutes the last 10 minutes we shot straight up there all right so i mean it was still a learning lesson for me too but with friday and me not usually wanting to trade fridays i decided to be aggressive with my stop so i'm fine with a break even i'm fine with that all right but but for the sake of you know studying price action and and really you know studying and seeing and, and looking to see what actually happened that's what took place right look at that stop run here on a two minute chart see that long wick to the downside that next candle potentially could have been an entry or that next candle potentially could have been an entry and it wouldn't have been very long um being in and out you know what i mean so that was the reasoning why i was looking for 38.65 okay so um well that's really about it uh it's not, i don't want to make this video too long i'm not trying to you know it's friday i'm not trying to go overboard with it but wanted to give you guys something to look at for the weekend again you know note those indices diverging here bullish order flow right and then having uh that afternoon late session we see those highs and uh price was able to rally into that so all right and again that was all derived from the understanding with the daily time frame at liquidity that was swept yesterday coming off of some bearish days all right so hopefully y'all were able to get some out of this have an amazing